platforms. This is a 59 Vespa 400. Two cylinder convertible. Vespa, of course, being an Italian company, but they were getting metal from Fiat. Fiat said, if you build this car in Italy, we're going to pull the contracts. So what they did was that they built them in France. Look at this. Just fantastic. Fantastic. Oops, sorry. These are what, 10 inch tires? Let's see, yep, 10 inch tires. Too cruel. <clears throat> Again, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2021. If you put a gallon of gas in it, you turn it to one and you crank it back to zero. No and way. It stops and it puts two and a half ounces, which is, I've told Miss Dora all day, two and a half ounces of oil per gallon and it doesn't smoke. <laughs> but when you take an engine apart, the, the, the uh, wrist pins and the, and the uh, the uh, cons, the, sh sh uh, the, the, the big part of the, the connecting rods were all double double wide rows of really tiny little needle bearings. Oh my! And then there were three main three main bearings, and the crankshaft is only this long. And yet, and it come in part. You could take it apart to get the third bearing off of it. <laughs> but there's only five moving parts. Two, cr two connecting rods, two pistons, and a, cr a crankshaft. That's it. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's a little, there's a little shaft that's bolted to the end of this pulley, and that's got a, a one load on it. And that's for the for the ignition. Yeah, make or break. Yeah, it's got two two sets of points. But well, you don't have a distributor cap; it just keeps firing continuous. <laughs> yeah. That is great. That is great. I love the air cool over there. That's nice. Of course, being French, it's the Italian car built in France. Yeah. You're running per, um, Duchier or Perry Rhone. No, Perry Rhone generator. I love it. I love it. This is great. This is great. Thank you. Nice meeting you all. Five gallon. Five gallon. Yeah. This is so cool. Little Vespa 400. Very cool. Very nice to see. Again, very rare to see these cars. Very rare. You've seen some other ones, and they are also the Strelman's norms. Let's take a look at a couple of the mini cars over here. This is a Zastava. 750. Now, what's interesting is that here Fiat uh, licensed Zastava to build a Fiat in Poland. This is also 25 horsepower, but this is water cooled four cylinder. It's a little bit bigger. Let's go for some more mishmash. This is the National Metropolitan, of course, built in England by Austin for Nash. Four-cylinder Austin engine under the hood, or if you shall, bonnet, rear-wheel drive, front engine. These are quite popular, quite popular indeed. They're built under three different names. The Nash, they were built under um, Hudson, and they're built under Metropolitan. They came in both hardtop and convertible. This is a Crossleaf 47 Crossleaf pickup. Crossleaf horsepower. Crossleaf went pre-war and post-war. Was intriguing with Crossleaf. This is an overhead cam four-cylinder. How Crosley made his money in appliances, radios, and electronics. And what he did was uh, he went into the automotive industry and he had his dealers selling the Crosley cars. There's the block, you can see the drive for the cam over there. <coughs> They continued into the 50s, believe it or not. This is an unusual car over here. This is a Toyota, 80, uh, 65 Toyota uh, Publica. Check that out. 
This is two cylinder, if I'm not mistaken, 600 cc's. Very hot series. Nice little convertible, which is really kind of unusual for a Japanese car. Right hand drive, of okay, course. You know, this almost has a. Wow. This is fantastic. Isn't it cute? I love it. Oh, this is 800. It was, Dayton. It's now up in Michigan. 800 cc, uh, two cylinder air cooled, overhead valve, 45 horsepower. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is great. Some information on it right there. Hit pause, by the way. It's kind of cool. This came out. Uh, 43,000 uh, vehicles were made. It's available in a sedan, coupe, wagon, convertible, and pickup truck. Toyota is uh, still one of the largest manufacturers of in Japan. Here's your Crosley convertible. This is pre-war. Good meeting you. <laughs> Love these Crosleys. Hey, you kids, you want to sit in it? You I'll let you sit in it. it. Joey. You want to sit in it? Wow. Sit in it? <laughs> All right. The only deal, the deal is, though, if I let you sit in it, you have to remember you sat in a Crosley. So you got to remember it's a Crosley. <laughs> And do you know what you tell the gentleman when you're done? You tell him it's a fine car. There you go. Dad, you can sit in it. Boost Buffalo, it's good for you. <laughs> go Bills. Now I gotta show you the uh, pre-war uh, engine. These are smaller. You see how tiny those little four cylinders are? Yeah. They are amazing. <laughs> what was interesting, thank you. What was interesting was that these uh, were made for, uh, oh, that's the two cylinder, huh? Okay. I thought they were all, um, oh, okay, this is the Bantam, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the early one. Yeah. Made that 39 is the first year. Yeah, check that out. 955. There's a two cylinder Crosley. That is too cool. Too cool. Trouble finding And then we went to the Bantam over here. I'm sorry, we jumped. This is the Bantam. 38 Bantam. Which is the outgrowth of the Austin. Uh, again, built in Pennsylvania. Bantam was the one who developed the Jeep. Hello, trying to stay warm? Yeah. What a cool little coupe, huh? Again, small cars in America and elsewhere. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2021 AACA. Fall meet for more cool events like this and unusual cars. Make sure you check your car show calendars. NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com. And while you're there, post and share your events. And if you want to see more cool and unusual cars, click subscribe. I'll see you at the shows.